What's up everybody? My name is Justin. Welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Tears. On today's video, I've had this bottle for quite some time. I've been holding off on doing the review. Today, we're doing some Kentucky Owl Confiscated. Okay, so Kentucky Owl, it's a big name in the bourbon world, but as far as I can tell, the confiscated is like the redheaded stepchild of the Kentucky Owl family. So, you know, we'll see. It's uh, been sitting here for quite some time. I've had it, it's coming in at 96 proof. The bottle looks cool. I like the labeling, I like the shape. I like how the bourbon looks inside of it. See what it says here. In 1916, just before Prohibition, my family's entire whiskey inventory was seized by the federal government, never to be seen again. Confiscated. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey is a tribute to those vanished barrels and to the opportunity lost. Okay, so this is a tribute to whiskey long ago, never to be found again. Let's go ahead and get the bottle pop and get the nosing out of the bottle. Okay, nice pop there. I like the cork, it's got kind of a gold brass topper on there, it says Kentucky Owl. All right, we'll see. I kind of have low expectations because I've heard this particular Kentucky Owl is not the best one in the world, but it is Kentucky Owl. I've never had a Kentucky Owl before, so I'm gonna try it today. Okay, molasses. Deep, deep brown sugar. Hint of cherry. A little butterscotch on there. It smells pretty good. Can't complain about how it smells so far. Let's do the pour. All right, decent little pour here on the Kentucky Owl Confiscated today. All right, so pretty standard color, maybe slightly darker than just your run of the mill bourbon, but also nothing overly crazy. Let's see if the nose out of the glass compares to out of the bottle. Actually, more deep dark fruits initially I'm getting out of the glass than I got out of the bottle. Like a plum, a deep dark plum or a deep dark red cherry. Definitely some of that uh, brown sugar on there for sure. Molasses, butterscotch. A little bit, just a hint of oakiness on there, not too much. I mean, it smells good. I gotta give it to it, it smells good. Really deep, dark brown sugars on there. It's like, I would say that's the predominant nose that I'm getting is that deep, like heavy brown sugar. All right, cheers everybody. Let's go ahead into the tasting of the Kentucky Owl confiscated ever, first ever Kentucky Owl to ever enter my mouth. Okay, but my first impressions are definitely a thick, molasses, brown, sugary notes. I'm definitely getting them on the palate as well as on the nose. So it first strikes me as decent. It actually drinks a little bit hotter, I think, than the 96 proof that it is. I can feel it decently. If I was like guessing, I would maybe say that this was like 110 if I'd never had it before and I didn't know what it was. I think I'd be guessing it was more around that 110 range. See if what, what, what else we can, what else we can pick out of here. Okay, get a little bit of the butterscotchiness, not as nearly as much as on the nose, but definitely molasses, like a syrupy molasses with this brown sugars in that syrupiness definitely is on there. You get a little hint of cherry. There's just a slight oaky twang on there. Like, I don't even wanna say bitter because I wouldn't really say it's bitter but there's just like a slight oaky little twang on there. Like if it was just on the hint of bitter or on the verge of becoming bitter, that's kind of what it's like. Okay, so Kentucky Owl, confiscated. Smells really, really good. I think it doesn't linger overly long. The finish isn't too long on this one. Uh, the flavors are basically what you smell is what you get. So it's not bad at all. I like it. I definitely enjoy drinking it. It's something I will enjoy drinking. These around here are kind of expensive. I think this one was 130 when I bought it. So basically paying for the Kentucky Owl name, do I think it's worth 130? No, definitely not. Definitely not worth in that price range, but it's decent. So let me get one more sip here before we rank it on the tier system. 
syrupy, maple syrupy, molasses, brown sugar, little hints of cherry in there, and just a slight oaky twang. So I think if I'm gonna put the Kentucky Owl confiscated on the tier list, I think it's gonna go solid B tier. It's really good. I enjoy it. I wish the finish was a little bit longer. I wish maybe there was a little bit more complexity to it, but it gives a really nice syrupy, molassesy brown sugar, you know, taste in your mouth. And I can't complain about that. It's really good. So I will take that and be happy with it now. And at that price, eh, probably not. But the bourbon itself is still certainly worthy of being on the B tier, I think. So, you know, my first ever Kentucky Owl experience. I know there's some other ones out there and some really, really ones that people go after that I can't afford, but maybe one day. So that's it. It's going on the B tier today. Have you guys had the Kentucky Owl confiscated before? If so, let me know what you think about it. What tier do you think it should have gone on? Please hit like, please hit subscribe. We're growing this channel a little bit at a time. Maybe eventually be able to do some cool stuff. I would really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one.